This is the plaintiff, Janira Sedino. She says she's a licensed esthetician, and she was hired by the defendant for laser hair removal and sold her a six-month package. Well, the sneaky woman came to four appointments and then called PayPal and had them refund all her money behind her back. She doesn't work for free for anyone and is here suing for the $1,000 she's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Mariah. She says the plaintiff runs an underground illegitimate business, and she was so unprofessional towards her that she canceled her remaining appointments. She complained to PayPal. They refunded her money, and she owes this wannabe esthetician nothing. She's accused of stopping payment. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff is a hair removal expert and sold the defendant a six months package. But the woman got treatments and got PayPal to refund her money. The defendant says the plaintiff was super unprofessional. It's the case of you make me pull my hair out. Thank you, Douglas. Janira Sedeno, you are suing Maria. You've asked us just to refer to you by your first name for $1,000. Uh, because she reversed a PayPal payment to you and you feel that that was a breach of contract. What do you do for a living? I'm a licensed esthetician. I esthetician. And, and so what did you first seek her out in order to do for you? What service? For acne treatments. Acne treatment. For the face. All right. So you go to her. At some point, you end up buying a package for you and your boyfriend, correct? Is your boyfriend here? No, he was working. And how much did the package cost? $1,000. What were you supposed to get for the $1,000? Um, between me and him, it was never broken down, but it was supposed to be six sessions in total. Okay. For laser hair removal. Six sessions of laser hair removal. All right. You buy the sessions, and what you want to buy, you want to be able to split it between two people, and she lets you do it, which is, is great. And then what happens? Okay, she purchased, uh, she bought the package September 13th. Does that sound right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I gave her the treatment in September. I gave her the treatment in October, November, and December. Okay, so how many treatments under the package did you give her? Four. He canceled. Is that accurate that you got four treatments? No. Okay. According to you, how many did you get a treatment in September? Uh, for my face, what I strictly went to her for. So I you didn't get a hair removal treatment in September? No. Okay. According to you, did you get a hair removal treatment in October? No. She gave me a trial, me and my boyfriend. She gave me a trial on my legs. She also, when? Um... December. She gave you a trial in December? Why would she give you a trial three months after you purchased the package? Because the... I initially went to her for face. I for don't acne. care. You, I asked if you bought the package on September 13th, and yes. you said yes. Then why would there be a trial as opposed to an actual uh, use of the package in December? You didn't buy $1,000 worth of services. You bought specifically hair removal. So why would December not count? Because she never had the machinery to do that. That's why. I did mean, she no, do it in Dece Did she have December the machinery in December? Yes. Okay. And did she do your hair in December? Yes, yeah, she gave and me had, time. And, and that was pursuant to a package you'd bought in September yes. two months earlier. Yes. How is that a trial? That's an actual service. No, no, no. She gave me a trial because she's, she, I even have text messages saying, how is it? And I told her, is it don't work? I even see like, um, you know, um, spots. Okay. I'm not sure you understand what trial means. Now, how many other, according to you, how many other hair services between the date of September 13 and the day that you decide, I don't want to work with her, and we'll go into that in a minute, but how many services for hair removal did you or your boyfriend have, according One. to you? This in December. And that's it? Yes. Did your boyfriend go at any time? No, he didn't go without me. What say you is different than what she just said? How many times, on what specific dates, and what proof do you have that you gave the two of them hair removal after September 13th? I gave 13th? Mariah full, four full sessions and Edwin three full sessions. He canceled Well, in that's December. more than they pay for, so that I don't believe. Um, that, no, they pay for six sessions. Okay, I'm sorry. So is each person supposed to have six sessions? Yes. With oh, my so package, the $1,000, that's what I wasn't getting. Yes. So the $1,000 was not for six sessions, but for 12 sessions. Two clients, six sessions each. Each. Yes. Yes, that's 12. Okay. So you've got September? September, October. October. So according to you in September, what day and who did, of the two of them did you give a hair removal treatment? Both. For? Both. Both of them. On what day did you remove their hair? September 13th, the day that they purchased it. And what other day do you say they both came? October 11th. Okay. 
and Mariah and Edwin, November 20th, full laser hair removal session. And then in December, he canceled the same day of, and she came. What de day? December 23rd. Now, the 23rd's not in question because she admits the 23rd. I now need from you proof that she came on 913 for hair removal, 1011 for hair removal, and 1120 for hair removal. Okay. Now, you guys text each other a great deal. So there should be traffic texts. And I don't like seeing screenshots. I like seeing it in the phone. Did you erase those texts or you have all those texts? I have them. I want you to both gear up your phones and I'm going to see what the conversation is around those dates so I can see if someone's canceling, if someone had it. Mm -hmm. So let's see that. Thank you, sir. And let's see. What does F you mean? Follow up. Follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Follow up. Okay. Follow up facial, thousand dollars PayPal, and uh, what does LHR mean? Laser hair removal. Mm. So while you got you have it up, perfect. Let me see her text. She, you end up finding out that things aren't going all so well between you two. How you started getting text messages. The same day of January nineteenth. The sorry, January 29th, The same day of her fifth session. She texts me, um, I, I hand you my and phone. And she texts you and she says? That she has to cancel. I have to cancel. I cannot come in. Can you see me tomorrow? Tomorrow, I said, I can. I'm full. But you have the rest of the week. I work till 10 p.m. to laser you. And she said, no, I can't. I have to work. You know? And I. And then what happened? How did it get nasty? Because it got nasty. Um, I didn't, I okay, didn't why allow her to How come in. How did it get nasty? Okay, so leaving off of what you asked, um, I did contact PayPal on the 20th or 29th of January. Why though? What happened? Um, she spoke very nasty to me. How? From what did the, she say? Okay. Um, well, she anymore. said, this ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way right away. Wait, over what? Because you, because you were canceling and you wanted an appointment the next day and she right. couldn't do the next day. Right. She kept um, bribing me sort of for, I don't know if bribing is the right word, but begging for a tip every time. Like I paid her my face in cash. And she kept telling me, where's my tip hole? Or if I wouldn't respond, I would go, she goes, PayPal, 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 trying to get my attention through the messages. And I'm like, PayPal, what? She goes, uh, I, I said, I thought a tip is, you know, if I felt comfortable, you know, if I want to give you a tip. And she was like, where's my gratuity? PayPal hole. Someone could say that to you and be trying to be chummy, overly chummy, unprofessionally chummy, or someone could say that to you and actually be calling you, like, which way did you take at it? At that point, it was... Where's my money hole? Like, not, not funny at all. So what happens on Monday, January 29th, I will have to see you tomorrow morning if possible. Tonight, I won't be able to make it. So it's you canceling the point. Please let me know what time you start working tomorrow morning. And she says, see you Wednesday. This ain't Burger King. Your way right away. So she, you say to her on September 12th that you're coming in with Edwin tomorrow. Edwin used to drive me for my facial things. Yes, I know, but why don't I glean from that that you did come in with Edwin tomorrow on September 13th? Because on September 12th, you said that. So on September 13th, why shouldn't I deem that you, in fact, went in? Can you answer that? Yes, ma'am. I did go in for facial treatment. No. Wanted to make sure for tomorrow Edwin and I are coming. We are not including my mom in the price plan for the laser hair removal and blah, blah. Just want to make sure tomorrow we can take care of that. That's not for the facial treatment. We took care of PayPal that day, the 13th. Yeah, okay. You, I, ben pica aquí y me rascas aquí. It itches me here and you're scratching me over here. You heard what I asked. So what's better, waxing or laser hair removal? What do you say? I would say that laser hair removal is more efficient. Maybe more efficient, it's kind of painful. Uh, who has an opinion about this? What do you say? Um, waxing is better because it's less expensive. It's, yeah, it's cheaper. But you have to keep doing it, right? Yes, which is a struggle. Okay, fair enough. Oh, the, the, the cross we bear going inside the courtroom. All right, we're discussing all of your Brazilian and your boyfriend's Brazilians and all kinds of stuff. It doesn't sound like that space. And then the payment happens. And she says, see you today, later today. And everything that was talked about all day was hair. And in fact, you specifically text and hopefully start the laser thing today but for both Edwin and I. And here are pictures of your leg. Oh, and you, you were so unhappy. You said, but yes, please stay in touch with me. I need you in my life. <laughs> you guys talked every day a couple times a day. I mean, this, you know. Hi, Mariah. You can laser everything except. Ah, there we go. All right. <laughs> but he should definitely not wait too long because he's not going to get any kind of results. 
So at the end, you still didn't tell me what time are you gonna be there till today? Because I am leaving like in an hour. You can. Okay, then I would have to let you know tomorrow what time we both can come. I have. Hi. Yes, I'm lasering now. And how long will you be here? And you say, and this was for laser, and you say. We're going to go the next, we'll be there at 5.30, Edwin needs to pick me up. She goes, okay. And there's nothing else about canceling or anything else. It sounds like she's telling the truth, that you had several treatments, and then now, you know, we have a problem, because you think that your clients are your friends, and your clients are not your friends. And you need a certain amount of professionalism, okay, around your life that you don't really have, because you see yourself young, and she's young, and you think you can talk that way, and, you know, and what happens is, what happens? She calls PayPal. She cancels it because she's mad that you won't see her when she wants you to see her. And then she's pointing to how you're, which was very unprofessional, say, this ain't Burger King. You don't have it. You know, just say, I'm booked solid with other clients. I got, you have to keep the distance between you and your clients. I don't want you with a laser near my privates after we stop getting along either, you know? So... Since I'm finding that she lied about the 13th, lied about the 10th, I'm not even going to go through the trouble of the 20th. And then in January on her 5th was the session that didn't happen. Right. Correct. And then Edwin never came in January. Or December. Mm -mm. All right. May I say something? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so um, I think we're, we're not understanding the picture in terms of, I went to her for facials. Edwin used to drive me all the time. This is why I'm saying me and Edwin are coming, me and Edwin are coming. Right. Except for Edwin doesn't have facials, right? No, no, it's for and me. all of your texts say about hair removal and how important it was that Edwin continue or he wouldn't see the results. So when you told me that nobody got a single hair session, you were a bald face perjurer, weren't you? No, ma'am. Yeah, that's the problem with lying to a judge. When you lie to a judge, everything else you say is suspect. But go ahead. So how can there be laser happening if there's no machine and it's being transported? Because I think you're lying. Was there a machine? Uh, my machine never leaves the facility. Right. Okay, and the text you're talking about, I read it with my eyeballs, and it doesn't say what you're saying. It says what transporting. Is, right. you got to be patient. It takes, uh, uh, it's hard to get the machine, but that doesn't mean that she didn't have it, all those other appointments you had, including the times when she's saying to you, I'm lasering right now, I'll get back to you. No, may I judge. say something, Judge? Judge. Yeah, you may. Um, you know what? No, we're done. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had thought about maybe returning some of your money, but I'm starting to see now that the person who's the difficult one is you and not her. You know, even though I, I think it's a bad business policy for you to say things like, you know, I, I know how you meant it because she admitted how you meant it, that you guys had, oh, I need you in my life. And you guys, you guys were, you know, it was kind of a, a different relationship where you're texting each other every single day, but that's still kind of unprofessional. Let me give you another piece of advice. You should be, every time someone comes in for something, they should be signing for what they came in for. Each time I came in for, it's just so easy for you to do that, to, to have that process now, and then you'll never find yourself in this position again as a businesswoman, all right? But based on what I've listened to, I'm not gonna allow you to keep any of the $1,000. I think that the person who breached the contract was you. So I am ordering you to pay her $1,000, verdict for the plaintiff. So the plaintiff prevails. She will get the $1,000. Mariah, the defendant, just come out of the courtroom. The judge didn't believe you. Just plain didn't believe you. Well, it's okay because in life you can't always prove your perspective or what really happened to other people. Um, in this case, I know what happened. I paid for facial treatments and I paid um, in PayPal $1,000. And I know what happened at the end of the day, you know. Well, and for some reason, if I was so happy, that. if I was so happy, I would have never stopped, correct? You know, you, you went for facial treatments. For, I must say, you look fabulous. Well, I went to Dominican Republic, and they fixed my face there now, as oh, they you can did. see. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Sorry I lost here. Thank All you. right. Ms. Sedino, you got some advice from the judge. Yes, I did. You think you should and I will pay attention to what she said? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. wouldn't be in this situation. Has this happened before? Anybody Never. Canceled the first like time. That? First time. First time. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Harvey? What do you think? Okay, so I just want to spend a second talking about this. When you're in a business deal and you assume, I mean, because everybody who goes into a business deal assumes it's going to be okay, but a lot of them aren't. And they end up in a dispute and they end up in court. When you start trading emails and texts back and forth, you got to think, even if things are cordial now, 
They may not be later. And what you write in those emails and texts could end up being used as evidence in court. So you got to think, what if it goes wrong before you send an email or a text?